What's going on gang? Start a new thing called a weekend workshop. And what I'll do is any kind of little trick that I can come up with, maybe you can help your playing, spice up your guitar playing, I'll show you some tips there, maybe you can get something out of it. Let me show you quickly what you're going to learn this weekend. Now, if you're just starting out your beginner, it probably sounds a little complicated, but I'm going to break it down and show you how easy something like that can be because the more we can kind of spice the guitar up, do little things a little different than just, it makes it more fun there. So what you're going to do is you're going to use three chords, G, C, and D, and you're going to play it my easy way. This is important. So the, the entire time you're learning this, you're going to lock in the two bottom strings of the third fret. So you're going to lock that in and keep that hitting my boy's toys here. You're going to keep that locked in there. And for the G, you're going to play a fifth and a sixth. That's going to be your G chord. For the C, you're going to keep those locked in and go down to the fourth and fifth. Show them the bottom five. And for the D, you'll keep them locked in and press the third string. Show them the bottom four. Now, the little smack method thing I was doing there you're not going to use a pick on this. This is going to work on just getting a feel of the guitar. A uh, guy one time gave me a tip that you want to make the guitar like a drum, and your right hand's the drum. And that really helped me with my strumming and the timing. So you're going to take your first finger, almost like you have a pick, kind of pinching, and just hit the guitar like this right here. Just hit maybe the top three strings, just making a noise. That's the first step. You're just going to make a noise. Okay, you're going to. Let's start with that G chord. What you're going to do is you're going to play a G chord without these top two strings, two fingers press. You're going to do that smack and then work on pressing those strings that end that G chord and making a sound. So it's going to be a two count. One, two. But you're going to do that a total twice. One, two. And then you're going to do a regular strum down. Probably thinking you sped it up too fast on me. So remember, you're gonna do a smack. Then after, while you're removing your while you're removing your hand, make a sound going into that G chord. So work on keeping these two locked and pressing those top two. So right there, you're gonna do it twice. Say it's one two three four. One two three four. One two three four. One two three. Four. You can work on that. You might even want to hit down here, hit the top. And then after four, you're going to leave that chord on the fourth one. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to strum down. Use your first finger and strum down. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You see how I'm doing that? So smack, noise, smack, noise, and then a regular G. And then you go to C chord, you're going to do the same thing, except of course you're making that sound. And start out slow, it's all about timing, so don't worry about going so fast if you're a beginner. smacking the bottom there making that one noise with the third string so two three four string one two three four string C so it's little things like this you can do here to switch up a lot of people think to advance your guitar playing it's so much about learning more chords and up and down the neck 
and that's true that helps a lot if you know more chords but the more you can switch up your strumming and timing Things like that that can have a bigger impact to make your sound sound a little bit um, spiced up instead of just the down ups so work on that and after you get really advanced and you go through the three chords you can do so smack stop smack stop down down up So smack, stop, smack, stop, strum, down, up. And then you repeat that. song to play so um hope this helps you guys weekend workshop i'll try to start doing these where i get a little more in depth but that's your first three chords you want to learn g c and d first g then g c then g c d then g c d and an e minor down the road hope this helps you guys i'm out gotta hit the gym pump a little iron god bless you